Todd Vincent here, the fermented farmer in Tennessee on a windy spring day with water buffaloes. And this is going to be interesting. We are incorporating water buffaloes in our regenerative farm effort here. And these are some of them. They're amazing animals. There are more water buffaloes worldwide. It's kind of like soccer in the US. Soccer globally is one of the largest sports there are, but in the US, not so much. Same thing with water buffalo. Globally, there's more water buffalo milk uh, produced and drank and meat eaten than any other, any other type of animal. But in the US, not a lot. But what we like about water buffalo, these things have an interesting fermenter. Their rumen is a little different than a cow. It's got much different uh, bacteria in it, which causes everything that it eats to stay in there a little longer, which then causes more nitrogen, which we all know is awesome for the soil and it needs because it's depleted. So we believe that letting them graze the farm and do their business here is bringing a higher percentage of nitrogen to our soils, which is going to feed the soil microbes, which is then going to in turn feed our plants, which is then going to feed us. So water buffaloes love attention. As you can see, this is not normal with most uh, cows, at least. They love this attention. Their skin feels kind of like an elephant. Their hair is very like, coarse and they love human interaction. This one behind me here is Bo. He's our breeding bull. And most of you would think you would never get into a, an area with a bull like this, but he is a lover of people as well. This is Peta. She is a female that we, uh, a young female that has been bred and we're waiting for her to calve. But we really believe that water buffalo, because of the variety of things they eat too, makes them superior to cows as far as regenerative agriculture goes. So they'll eat things that cows won't or that cows that are real picky. Water buffalo's diet is much broader. So we like them for that as well. We think we're gonna get a really good pasture graze and they're gonna be producing a lot of great high nitrogen manure that's gonna really fortify the soil. So this is just another aspect that we're using here at the farm to bring our regenerative farming practices to you.